Hello everyone, welcome back to Two Bob's Adventures. Today we are at the Les Creek Trailhead on uh, New Home Road near Eddyville, Illinois. And today, this, we have Francie. No two Bobs, just one Bob again. Um, so this is a huge horse area, as you can tell. But a really nice area. We're going to hike in to uh, Les Creek area. There's been a reroute on the River to River Trail. And I want to check that out, and we're going to do an overnight camping, backpacking trip. Uh, be Francie's first ever overnight backpacking trip, right? No, to backpack in. Well, we did Red, Red, Cedar. Red Cedar. Yeah, man, that's in a state park. So first wilderness, I guess, with no amenities or campsites or anything. So yeah, we're going to head out, and we'll update you along the trail. All right, guys, we are on the River to River Trail in the Les Creek area. Still towards the very beginning, and we haven't gone a mile yet, probably. Uh, just want to show what the trail is like in this area. Really easy walking. A lot of horse traffic in this area, of course. And that's one thing I wanted to mention at the beginning of this section. Horses have cut trails back and forth and <laughs> cut across switchbacks instead of using the switchbacks, and it would be very easy to take the wrong trail in that first section just even in the first quarter mile so I uh, wanted to mention that but a uh, beautiful day I'm gonna be heading towards uh, the bow tree crossing and then owl bluff so going great so far okay we have made it to the actual Lust Creek wilderness boundary uh, I suppose like this sign here it's seen better days now though I've never seen it broken like that but one thing I wanted to show is the River to river blazes in this area. Most of you probably know, but not all of you. The traditional blaze is the blue eye on the white background. In the wilderness area, they try to keep it more natural, so it's just these carved eyes in wood triangles like that. And, uh, yeah, I guess it's all right. I mean, it makes it harder to see, but yeah, keep things more natural or whatever. So, yeah, this is the area where you enter the actual wilderness. Oh, here's a good example. Here's one of the traditional blazes as you're coming out of the wilderness area, if we were heading back the way we just came from, uh, back towards the parking lot and all that. So there you can see, there's the traditional blaze. And a lot easier to see. <laughs> all right, we've come to an intersection here in the Lust Creek area. We came from up there, which is the River to River Trail, and we're gonna be heading that way, which continues the River to River Trail. But at this intersection, if you go down that way, as you can see, trail number 457 and the guest farm crossing so uh lots of trails in this area and that's one i want to check out sometime but not today today we're doing the river to river uh, luckily i haven't had any bees yet i see there's a bee here on this sign but uh yeah just wanted to show that intersection just uh have maps know where you're going what have you thought so far france you've been too hard yeah. not too bad how many miles in so far is this intersection almost two miles, almost two miles to this intersection so Okay, here we are at the Owl Bluff tie-up area for the horses. And uh, we're gonna take the trail down here to actually Owl's Bluff and have uh, our lunch. So what'd you say, Francie, right at three miles? Yeah, yeah. so uh, we talked to a guy that was getting water when we crossed the creek a while ago. He said he's got his hammock down here. He's camping here this weekend. So uh, that's, he's down here, but who I tell you what, they make you earn it. It is quite the climb to get up here but it's worth it you'll see I've shown this before I know on the like when I've done my through hikes of the river river trail but uh yeah we're about halfway I think I'm not real sure about where we're gonna camp but I think we're about halfway in so I'm gonna have a little rest get packs off and have some lunch but there's his hammock nice setup Toilet paper, that's awesome. So here it is, Owl's Bluff. Whew, beautiful. There's always a good breeze here. <laughs> so, Lus Creek, of course, is down there at the bottom. We can't see, but beautiful area. Okay. 
come to another intersection. This is one that's always kind of tricky, but they put new signs up, it seems, so uh, pretty good deal. We were coming down here on the river to river, heading this way, and uh, the river to river makes a hard right here. And as you can see here, 425 goes on that way. And it is real easy, especially if it's late in the day or you're tired or anything, just to keep right on walking on that trail. But the river to river actually turns and about doubles back on itself. I know I've shown this before, but yeah, they've got these signs here now. So that's awesome. Two Circle B, two ROM Road. So yeah, good deal. So Francie said we just hit six miles. Mm -hmm. So uh, hmm, we're going to go quite a bit further than I thought today, but that's all right. Are you doing okay though? Yeah. Liking it? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We have made it to camp. Uh, mm -hmm. Took a little longer than we thought. <laughs> Ended up being, I think, close to nine miles probably today. Um, as you can see, the tent's set up. Um, we are actually set up right on what used to be the old section of the River to River Trail. Um, the reroute was nice. It's a lot longer, but uh, boy, a lot easier to follow. Nice blazes, cut in good. Um, if you show up there, Francie, I don't know if you can kind of see up there where the hill starts. That's actually where the trail is. Isn't that about right? Mm -hmm. What about actually starting up the hill, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, I just, uh, we were walking, I said, I knew that campsite has to be there. Because the old, the old trail came right by this campsite. Now it's off 50 yards or so. So, uh, we found it anyway. Um, got water source. Less Creek right here. Uh, just a beautiful area. Bugs aren't too bad. Uh, one of the funny things, as we were walking down here, uh, I said somebody left some clothes in a tree. And I looked and it was my underwear from <laughs> my through hike last October. And this is the end of September. So I've been there about a year. But I'm glad to have finally found them. I thought Francie lost them in the laundry or something. We tore the house apart looking for them. So anyway, we ended up sitting up, setting up down here right on the old trail so uh, ought to be a great night beautiful clear skies and looking forward to it our dinner tonight freeze-dried spaghetti with meat sauce mountain house what do you think Francie let's show that delicious footage oh there we go spaghetti haven't had any hard chunks yet have you no no not bad at all let's see how it tastes we're waiting for you Francie Warm, delicious. What's it taste like? Spaghetti. Is it kind of like Canetto's? No. <laughs> kind of like Chef Boyardee? Yeah, Chef Boyardee. <laughs> At your finest. All right, dessert time. As you can see, dark chocolate cheesecake mix. I think maybe got a little bit runny. It's kind of like uh, chocolate soup. But hey, I bet it still tastes good. There we go. I'll let Francie have the first taste here and see what she thinks. It smelled like cheesecake, kind of. Well, what do you think? Chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding. Okay. Worth having, though? Mm, sure. Better than nothing. All right. Good morning. Day two of our <laughs> hike. Uh, had a great campsite last night. There's a little creek down there. Up early. Got up about six. We're on the trail right at 7, so pretty good time. Uh, <laughs> another long day, about 9 miles probably out of here, but we may try an alternate route. We're not sure yet. We're just going to play it by ear. We don't have anywhere to be or anything. So, but Just beautiful morning sun just coming up. Nice and cool. Beautiful. All right. Still not very far in this morning, but the trail, the new section here, the reroute, follows this bluff line. and It is just beautiful in here. I said it adds a lot of distance, <laughs> but it's a lot more scenic part of the trail. And I guess if you're not in any hurry and <laughs> you know ahead of time that it's added that much distance, that it's a lot better, a lot better hiking for sure than what the old section was. Got a big deep valley down there, then all the bluffage up here on this side. So just super cool area. Looking forward to getting back in here and exploring some more along this bluff line. Maybe that's something uh, hiking with Sean would be up to. He always likes the bluffage. We came across a feature here 
listed on the maps as rock wall and uh, we didn't see it yesterday when we came by but we sure see it today i don't know any background any history or anything on it but it's a rock wall <laughs> that's super cool again i don't know what the deal is if anybody knows be sure and let me know that is cool wow we were walking along the trail and i just happened to look over here <laughs> and uh, this is up on top of a hill i told francis that looks like a pond i said i gotta go check that out it's not running up here sure enough nice size pond up here pretty cool i'm out of breath because it's a big old hill to get up here I don't know if you can see Francie way down there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just cool. I want to show that. I've never seen that before. It's off trail, but you can just tell that there was something up here. The other weird deal on my way up here. Whoa. There's this old pipe I found. I don't know what it is. But, yeah. Some kind of old pipe. And there's barbed wire and some fence posts. And they run all through here. So, there's some more over there. Pretty cool. All right, we are back at the truck. And uh, overall, just a great weekend. Uh, beautiful temperatures, uh, sunny skies, no rain. Uh, the only issue we had was, was about nine miles instead of the six I thought it was going to be. So we got some extra hiking in. But uh, we had a good time. And uh, hopefully we'll get to do it again. So be sure and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next adventure.